So what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to uncover your head. Right. Can you take your hat off for Christ? Yep. See, hey, see what type of man you marry? When the belt won't to obey Christ. You know? See that? If you don't want to, if you don't want to respect Christ, how you respect her respect you? You know? But you want her to follow you. Bring it out. But you won't follow Christ. Teach. Wake him up. How's that going to work out? Bring it out. What type of people do that? He calls the shots. He wages war. And our people, guess what? They love it. They love it. Right. Because they love, they love being wicked. They love that evil. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We don't got to ask if we are we destroyed. We just can look around. Right. We right here at the bus stop. We can look at our people destroyed. They destroyed by these Christian pastors that's over there letting women rule. Right. Got women over there preaching to them. Right. Bring it out. Those women don't know God. They don't know the damn Bible. Right. right. They, you know what they treat? They treat those grown women and men like little kids. You know what you do to little kids? You give them candy to pacify them. That's you know what right. they over there doing to our people? They giving them sandwiches to pacify them. Right. right. So they sit down. Get in a circle and be all good little students. Bring it out. They don't ask no questions. They don't say a word. They don't sit there and realize that they're amongst hypocrites. Right, right. Give me uh, Matthew 6 and uh, 5. I'm going to show you that they was amongst hypocrites. Because they was all over there in a big old circle just a few minutes ago. Doing what? Calling themselves praying to God. They weren't praying to the God in this Bible. That's right. I tell you that. Right. They don't know the God in this Bible. Watch the The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. You should not be as who? Thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. Let's find out what the hypocrites do. Read. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets. They love to pray where? In the synagogues. And in the corners of the street, Read. that they may be seen of men. What do they want to be seen? Seen of men. They want to appear that they righteous. They want to appear that they know God. Right. But guess what? They serve a white man, Jesus, too. Right. They serve Satan. They right. serve the devil. And they're right. over there pacifying our people with sandwiches, feeding them, instead of feeding them this word of God. Right, come Give on. Give me Matthew 4 and 4. <laughs> Guess what? They don't want to hear the word of God. That's how you know they just like the damn hypocrites. Because when the Bible coming out, guess what? None of them now got time to hear the word of God. But a minute ago, they was all sitting there, all quiet, sitting on their hands and knees. Guess what? Begging the damn oppressor for a sandwich. Right. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Man, you're supposed to live by bread alone. Right. Guess what? That's all they're living for is a sandwich. Right. That's the only time they quiet. That's the only time they run. Say they're not running their damn mouth. When they say they're waiting for a sandwich. Read. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Man is supposed to live by the word of God. Guess what? They won't keep the word of God. They won't teach the word of God. Right. We know the women that's over there supposed to be pastors. They ain't gonna keep no word of God. Give me that sentence. I will show you first and foremost. They should shut the hell up and sit down. That's right. Cause they don't know God's word. That's right. They don't know God's word, and that's why the state of our people don't change. Because they won't teach them God's word. They won't teach them the solution. So what? Where are we to get in trouble from you? Guess what you getting from me? The word of God. Don't trade the truth. That's your full, your soul. Read. We have to go somewhere. The people 
poor and they ain't got nothing to eat. Jesus said he needs to feed the poor and feed the hungry. And y'all ain't feed the poor and feed the hungry. Y'all taking all the money for your The book of First Timothy, chapter 2, verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence. What does the Bible say? Let the woman learn in silence. A woman don't supposed to be over no congregation teaching the people, teaching the men. That's right. They said, let the women learn in silence. That's your New Testament. Right. You say you believe it. They said, let the women learn in silence. Right. Free. With all subjection. Free. But I suffer not a woman to teach. He said, I don't suffer a woman to teach the Bible. There ain't no women pastors in the Bible. The right. pastors of God are men. Right. Free. No, to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first born, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. The woman is what brought sin in the world. Right. right. And guess what? It's the woman that's upholding white Jesus. Right. right. It's the woman that's teaching our children white Jesus. Right. It's our women that's setting up all up in the churches. Upholding these wicked ass pastors. Have y'all ever heard that you was Israelites? Yeah, that's what we is. Yeah, you know you're Israelite? Yeah, I record. I told my mama she need to be listening to this right now. Oh, come on over here, sis. You know what tribe you're from? No. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 3. Bring it on. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Can two walk together except they be agreed? Watch this. It's like this right here. I know I'm an Israelite. No, watch this. I know I'm an Israelite. She want to be a Christian. Are we going to walk together? Nah, there's going to be conflict. Right. So he got to get you ready on the same page as him. You know what I'm saying? And you got to get yourself what? On the same page as God. Now there's order in that first Corinthians up. Because there's order in the Bible. You understand? So, first and foremost, we got to realize God is all about order. Because why? Without order, there's chaos. And when, with chaos comes destruction for our people. Right. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So, Christ got to be the head of who? Of the man, right? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is who? The man! So, who's your head? Ain't no 50-50, is it? He's gonna be the head. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is who? God! So there's the order. God, Christ, and woman. Understand? Now watch this. Read. Every man that prayed or prophesied having his head covered dishonored his head. Every man having his head covered when his scriptures are coming out dishonor who? His head. Who's the head of the man? Christ. So when you got your head covered while the scriptures are coming out, who you dishonor? Right. Is your head covered? So who you dishonor? You gonna still keep your head covered? So you gonna dishonor Christ anyway? No, it doesn't mean I just follow my mind. Read it again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. What does it mean to have your head covered? No, I said, what does it mean to have your head covered? Like that hat that's on your head. It's covering your head. You understand? So what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to uncover your head. Right. Can you take your hat off of Christ? That's what that means. See, hey, see what type of man you marry? Man, you don't want to obey Christ. You know? See that? If you don't want to, if you don't want to respect Christ, how you want to respect her to respect you? You know? But you want her to follow you. You know? But you won't follow Christ. Teach. Like, come on. How's that gonna work out? Bring it out. Give me that uh, look, uh, thirteen and two. Now, then would that be a C? First John 3. Yeah. Let's find out what sin is. Do you know what sin is, sis? What is sin? Disobedience. You say disobedience. What do you say? 
You say wrongdoing. So obviously you need to keep it, right? I'm going to show you a sentence. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, 4, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin, transgression, also the law. Whoever commits sin breaks God's law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's law. That's what sin is, the breaking of God's law. You understand? Now, give me Romans 6 and 23. So what is the payment for breaking God's law? Is it going to be a slap on the wrist? What's the payment? The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. That's what? The wages of sin is death. Payment for committing sin is death. Right. You know? So you say, I'd rather die than take off my hat on Christ. Right. Who I stand Do you love Christ? Yes. Watch this. That's the index. Show me where the astronomy is. That's not our original book. That's astronomy right here. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Questions. We're skipping over the whole book of Deuteronomy. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. You know? Wake them up! Let's find out if I'm going to skip over the uh, book of Deuteronomy. Let's find out. Guess what? God said, you know what? Here's my laws, here's my commandments. Do what I say. I'm going to put you in rulership of the earth. That's a good deal. Correct? Rulership of the earth. We said, yeah, we'll do that. Guess what? But he said, if you don't, verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't want to do what I ask, do what I tell you. Like say for instance, take off your hat. Read to observe, to do all his commandments. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said, I'm going to send curses on you if you don't do what I say. Right. Is that a good thing or an evil thing? Uh, I asked you, was it a good thing or an evil thing? A curse. That is righteous. Watch this. Y'all have kids? Oh. Watch this. Listen. You all have kids. Right. You about to be, right? When your child, you raise him up, and you tell him you need to do something, and he don't do it, what are you going to do? You're going to discipline him. So you telling me discipline is bad? No. Watch this. Is rewarding good? For doing good, reward is good when you do good. It inspires somebody to keep doing good. So it ain't nothing bad about rewarding for doing good. You want them to keep doing good. But guess what? You chastise when they're doing bad because you want to correct them. That's why you chastise. That's what he said. If you do bad, I'm going to send curses on you. Now guess what? That's a choice. Either I'm going to do good or I'm going to do bad. Watch this. Everybody wants the good. Nobody wants the bad. Nobody wants the correction. But guess what? Nobody wants to do right either. So yeah. when you do wrong, the correction is going to come. Right. So let's see what some of the curses were. Next verse. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. He said, curse shall we be in the city. Are we cursed in the cities? They're right we cursed. Because we know where poverty is at. Right. We know where the crime is at. Right. We know where the drugs is at. Right. We know where the games are at. Right. That's the curse that God sent on us for being disobedient. Right. And those fields, guess what? There's no greater place where it happened in slavery than right here in Charleston. Right. Right. So we know Charleston was full of what? Cotton fields. Right. Those sugar plantation fields. Right. Those tobacco fields. Right. We was cursed in the fields. Now his many brothers are still cursed in the fields this day. Right. You understand? Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Thy sons and daughters. 
shall be given unto another people. Did that not happen to us? Read. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Guess what? Because why? And there shall be no might in thy hand. That's why your eyes look fail. That's why you're crying. Because why? There's nothing we can do. When our sons and daughters were took from us, there was nothing naked we could do. They made movies about that. Right. You seen 12 Years a Slave? She cried halfway through the whole damn movie. Yeah. Because they took her children away. Right. You understand? Guess what? BSS is going to take your kids away right now. Right. What can you do? Yeah. Nothing. Because you don't have no power in your hand. Because why? You forsaken the God that gave you laws and commandments to follow. Right. When you stop following those commandments, he stopped fighting for you. Right. He said, if you follow me, I'm going to give you rulership of the earth. How you yeah. thought we got the damn rulership? Jeez. How you think we got the power? How you think we can say, man, we was once kings and queens. We had a God that stood with us. Right. Because we stood with him. Now we don't stand with the Most High God. Now we oppose everything. Now we won't even take off our hat for God. Right. Think about that. And you really have sons and daughters? But you was gonna sit there and teach them what? To be disobedient to God? So they can catch the damn curses? When are we gonna start breaking those curses? When are we gonna start breaking those curses that come on our people? Right. Give me verse 48. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. So now we gotta serve our enemies. Because why? We didn't want to listen to God. Right. He gave us simple laws and commandments. Simple. They ain't hard. They ain't hard to take off your hat. No, no sons to take off his hat. Nothing. No worries. You understand? Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Which the Lord shall sin against me. Who sent the enemies against us? The Lord shall sin against me. So the Lord sent the white men against us for being disobedient. Read. In hunger. So now we have to go to who? We got to go to the white man now for food. Read. In thirst. He controls our water system. Read. And in nakedness. The very clothes on your back you got now got to go to your enemies. So we don't own no textile. We don't own nothing. We're still slaves. Read. And in want of all things. If you want an education for your child, who you got to send them to? Yo, Ingram. Yay. She need tampon. She need toothbrush. Who she got to go to? The enemies. You need a job. Who you got to go to? The enemies. You want a house. You want land. You want a car. You want driver's license. You got to go to who? Your enemies. Because why? We didn't want to serve God with joyfulness and gladness and heart. That's right. We didn't want to do what he asked. And I whooped my child. Did God tell you to whoop my child? No, God didn't tell me to do that. What? Give me that verse right there. It's the right 30. Come on now. You say God, God, listen. This is a spiritual butt whooping weekend. Right. Do you not realize slavery is a spiritual butt whooping? That's a, who you think he used as the belt? He used the white man as the belt. That's right. The white man is the belt that's punishing us right now. Right. You got to get up and go to work. That's the belt. Right. You understand? When you say they're going through these hard times, that's the belt. Right. Think about it. Watch this. The book of Sirach. Chapter 30, verse 1. He that loveth his son causes him all oh, to feel the rod. What does he going to feel? Feel the rod. That's when you love your son, when you whoop that butt to cause him some discipline. Right, right. Who the hell don't whoop their child? When you don't whoop your child, you know what you get? Gang banging. Right, right. You know what you get? A little thot running around with no clothes Bring on. It That's what you get. Dude, Guess what? Up? God said, he really did it from the top. That's why God said, those that love him, keep his commandments. That's right. Those that think they know more better than God, end up in slavery and get put to death. Right. You understand? That's the wages of sin. 
death. God is telling you how to raise the children. Right. Tell us why. We don't know how to raise children. We right. can't even sit there and pretend we know how to raise children when our whole damn community is jacked up. Right. And we're sitting there running in fear because of these kids. Right. Guess who, matter of fact, give me Isaiah 3. I'm gonna show you what happened to kids that don't get no discipline. Hey, and I want you to know who's raising them. The white man raised them. Nah, that ain't the white man. He done did his job. We destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Right. So the white man ain't gotta do a damn thing. We do it to ourselves now. Right. Because we reject the word of God. Right. Watch them. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 12. Bring it out. As for my people, children are their oppressor. As for my people, who are our oppressors? Children are their oppressors. That's who terrorizing the neighborhoods. These little gang banging ass kids running around with their blocks. That's who's terrorizing the neighborhood. Cause why? It ain't no daddy in the home. Cause the woman said, I can do bad all by myself. Nigga, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me how to raise my kids. That's what that woman said. Right. Read. And women rule over them. Who rule over these bad ass kids? Women rule over them. Cause they telling the father, he can't whoop my child. You can't touch my child. Bring it up. You can pay my rent. You can buy my car. You can put the food on my table. You right. can pay my light bill. You can pay my phone. But you better not touch my kid. Right. That's what these women are telling our children. Right. That's what they telling them. That's what they teaching their daughters. Right. They teaching their daughters the same thing. Where do you get from the top? As for my people, children are their oppressors. And women rule over them. Oh, my people. They which lead thee, cause thee to err. They come to the what? To err. To error. That's what's going on. Because why? We won't raise them as the word of God. Right. God said, he that loves that child, make him feel that rod open. Because he needs that discipline. Right. What, what child don't need a daddy in their life? What child don't need a father in their life? Right. That father gives Bring the discipline. Out. That mother gives that motherly love. But that father, he's gonna get that respect. He's gonna get that discipline. That child is gonna act right because daddy don't play. Right. That's what our people don't want to come back to the word of God. Right. Because why? Our father don't play. Right. Our father don't play no games with us. Right. So why should we sit there and be playing games with our children? Think about that. Go back to Hosea. What you got? Read the book of Proverbs. Chapter 22, verse 15. Bring it out. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. Read that again. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. They're always going to get into something that's bad. Right. You can't just give them freedom to do what they want to do. Right. Because they're going to choose wrong every time. Right. right. That's why you got to watch over them. Right. You can't sit there and give that daughter no freedom. Next right. thing you know, little Bobby don't slip in the sleep right in her panties. Bring it out. You Bring can't out. sit there and give your son the freedom to run all over the neighborhood. Next thing you know, he's throwing up gang signs. Right. Bring it out. Exactly. Selling dope, smoking cigarettes, getting high, getting blazed. Right. Am I wrong? How many friends you know that smoke cigarettes? You got none? Mama's with that. Mama got an eye on you. Protect right. you. Keep protecting. Cause I guarantee you, I know plenty of good kids this age to smoke. Right. They ain't just smoking cigarettes, they smoking weed. That's right. I know kids right. this age to strap, got guns. Right. And that's the thing about it. You ain't got no children yet. Bring it out. But that's the with generation of your kids is gonna be coming up behind. Gee. It don't get better, it gets worse. Bring it out. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.
is one! Is one!